Hello everyone and in this quick tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this charging sort of effect in geometry nodes. So it's a very simple effect. I have a, a very simple scene here. You can build that yourself or you can download these models from my description. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new geometry node tree here. So select this cable right there and click to add a new geometry nodes and make it particles or whatever. First I'm going to add a join geometry node here so that we can join back our group input here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a distribute points on faces node and make it from random to poison disk. Make the distance minimum to something like 0 0.005 and the density maximum to something like 20,000. Now after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an instance on points node and in the instance I'm going to add a cube. Bring down the cube size to something that fits well here. And I think that's going to be good. I'm going to hide this cube just like that. Keep everything clean. I'm going to add a set position node. Turn on these overlays. For this offset, I'm going to add a vector math. Set it to multiply. And multiply this with this normal. Now for this value, I'm going to add a map range first. And connect the result to the vector. And you can see it looks kind of crazy right now, but you got to give it some inputs to get the result. So then I'm going to add a geometry proximity node and connect the distance to the value here. Then add an object info node. Set it to relative and make an object for that. I'm going to select these ring, this ring right there and shift this cursor to select it. Then I'm going to add a cylinder here, just like that, and rotate it along the x-axis 90 degrees, and scale it down just like that. Then I'm going to scale it, shift Y to delete the y-axis, and bring it down just like that. Then I'm going to go to this object properties panel, and in the viewport display, I'm going to make it bounce and apply the scale. Then go to the camera view again. I'm going to select my geometry nodes object here and select the cube here. Now I think it's the cylinder, so select the cylinder here. And now what I'm going to do is connect the geometry to the target here. And select the cylinder and grab it along the y axis. And you can see it's already doing something. But we gotta play around with the map range to get the result we want. So I'm gonna just play around with these values till I get something that looks good. Something like that. I'm gonna select this uh, select this cylinder again and scale it. Shift Y axis. Bring it down just like that. It looks good. You can scale it along the X axis too to just Make it visible and workable. Get this distance, val distance value and connect it to the scale of the instance on points. And in between there I'm going to add a color ramp. And flip the color ramp. Bring the black value down just like that. Also bring the white value to black a little bit. And bring that back. Now play with the map range. Now in the last join geometry node, I'm going to connect my input right there. And bring this to max value back just like that to something like 0.37. And then in the cylinder, I'm going to scale it along the y-axis to just make it a little bit smaller. 
make this a little bit smoother maybe and there we go we got some charging effect here now if we select the cylinder and grab it along the y-axis it looks like that uh, it's not looking very good because we didn't do any shading here so let's just add materials to I'm gonna select this and add a set material node after the set position here and select the emission here and for the charger I have a simple material here I'm gonna duplicate the set material node and select the material go to the rendered view now you can see it looks like that I'm gonna hide the cylinder I'm gonna bring down the scale of these cubes just a little bit back now if I select the cylinder it's a very cool effect for sort of showing that there is a charge in the wire it adds sort of a visual interest to the video you can try these effects these are very simple in geometry nodes and I did some simple lighting here so one light there and one area light here just two lights and set up the camera and just like that if you select the cylinder and turn off the render and uh, yeah and hit F12 to render a frame looks very good right you can bring it on the y-axis just like that now render a frame from there so that's it for today and it was a very quick tutorial i'm gonna do the shoe stuff next make sure to follow the previous tutorials that are very useful and i'll see you in the next one